At the beginning of the movie, the events of the past few years are shown. Some laborers are seen working in a mine, and a doctor is supervising them. The man notifies the doctor that the workers detected radiation while working. This excites them, as they believe it to be uranium, and they bring in large machinery to the area. As they work, the ground starts crumbling into dust, and the doctor guides the group into the newly created cave. They begin their work, and the doctor moves to the underground cave with his team. The dust is thrust into the cave, and the team continues their work. The doctor leads his team further into the cave to explore. They glimpse a giant skeleton of an animal. Pondering over it, the doctor knows that it is not a skeleton, but a giant animal, which was sleeping there. And it was awakened with a ray of light. Then it is shown that the animal had moved to the sea, coming out of the cave. On the other side, a scientist in Japan comes on the scene who is talking with someone on a call. That earthquake is being felt here from that location where there is a nuclear power plant. He says I will have to stop this nuclear plant if the tremors continue. Then his wife arrives there and he leaves with his son named Ford and his wife. He tells his wife that the aftershock seemed to be terrible. So he will stay at the nuclear power plant with his team till that time. Then the same scientist is shown in a laboratory who was detecting the location of the aftershocks. But no one was getting anything. Then he orders the workers to turn off all machinery because they are unaware of which thing is creating the shocks. They may not be harmful, but the earthquake again occurs there once again. And scientist's wife also reaches there. She begins to run from there. Then toxic gas is spread with the explosion in the cabin. The scientist proceeds to save the life of his wife. But it was too late, and the toxic gas had started to spread in the whole cabin rapidly. His wife says to him, close the door before it reaches there. The scientist is forced to unwillingly close the door. Afterward, he is depressed because his wife is left inside. His wife says to him, take care of our son Ford. And the entire nuclear power plant is destroyed because of radiation. Ford was also witnessing it from his school. Fifteen years later, Ford got the post of soldier. He had returned to his house after a few months of training. He was wedded now. His wife receives a phone call informing her that Ford's father has been arrested by police. Ford used to hate his father. Because he thought that his mother died due to his father. But he goes to meet him at the suggestion of his wife. He frees his father from police detention and travels there. Then both come back to the house, and his father says to him, my son. It was not an accident, but the cause was the radiation. And the same radiations are still being felt once again. He was arrested as a result of his visit to the prohibited location. He says that my friend has also sensed the voices. It implies that strange voices can be heard coming from there. He will have to investigate, going there. He need to prove that the explosion of the nuclear plant on that day was not a mere accident. Then Ford also goes with his father there. Now they notice there were no toxic gases or radiation. Police again arrest both of them and take them. And the doctor is also there who was shown at the start of the movie. They all ask the scientist, what is the cause of your visit there time and again? The scientist begins to reveal what he wants to do. The doctor is left astonished because he also has not much knowledge. They were conducting experiments there on the biggest rock-like item. Suddenly, that rock starts shaking and an electrical discharge is created in it. That rock is split and a giant creature appears from there. It was monstrous and attacked people while discharging electricity. Then it is shown that the animal comes from the nuclear plant, releasing itself. It flies from there. The next day, the captain approaches and asks the doctor to come with him. The doctor also takes Ford and the scientist with him. But scientist was badly injured in this incident. Their head reveals going there, it is not an ordinary creature. It went deep into the sea with the decrement of earth radiations. So that he may restore its energy from there. They say that their company has also made to search it out. It is still alive and its name is Godzilla. This incident was due to this animal which was considered an earthquake by the people. And it came into the nuclear plant in Japan while walking. Because he needed such a place where he could get energy at a time. It appears with it that the scientist is dead there. And they all get worried. Because it is his turn to die today, another person may die in the coming day. Immediately, the head is reported through a call that the sea is emitting mysterious radiations. They come to know that the creature exists there. And that creature was swallowing the nuclear bomb to get energy. But they were also realizing something more there. Some people were sent there who noticed that a monstrous animal was coming out of the sea. Actually, it was the same threatening creature that had entered the city. And everyone was terrified by it. Then Godzilla also comes on the scene which was shouting furiously. Next day, the news broadcast that the creature fled while being afraid of Godzilla. 
Now that menacing creature was uniting more animals with it, going into the sea. The doctor's team member revealed they had got two eggs before a time ago. Being hatched, an animal had gone to the nuclear plant in Japan. And they don't know what happened with another egg. It was kept in a place securely. When some people are sent to check, they witness that the animal has gone somewhere after being hatched. It is known that this egg belongs to that menacing creature. Being hatched, it goes to another city, and he was creating havoc there. Police start inquiring about both of these creatures. Then it is shown that the doctor is watching footage of another creature. Here they notice that this creature is wingless. As another creature had wings. While investigating, they found out that it was a female animal, while the first one was male. As a soldier, Ford is dispatched to various locations with the military. So that he may stop those creatures. Contrarily, the captain says, those creatures are creating devastation. Then the head says to him, we will have to explode them with a deadly nuclear bomb. Then the captain says, they will get benefit from it. Because nuclear energy is required for them. And they will be stronger with it. Head says, what can we do except it? Risk will be taken. Both creatures were going into the sea to restore their energy while filling radiation in them. The source of the radiation that they were exposed to was the sea's depth. On the other side, Godzilla was coming to put them to death. So they stepped towards that sea, keeping the nuclear bomb with them. Ford had also kept his eye on them. They had placed that bomb in a boat. A male creature attacks that boat and leaves, taking that nuclear bomb. Now both creatures had gone away, possessing that nuclear bomb. Because they had a great source of their energy. Military and Head's plan was fallen flat completely. They think they are unable to produce fruitful results. So Godzilla may secure their lives. Then it is shown that those creatures were creating a big disaster in the city. Fortunately, Godzilla also appears there. The military was also there. Then it is shown that Godzilla confronts that creature and the fight starts between them. They were monstrous and damaged many things while fighting. All moved back. There was only a male creature there. So Godzilla was fighting him with no difficulty. It is about killing male creatures. The female creature attacks it, coming from the backside. Now Godzilla was alone fighting with both of them. It was becoming hard to kill both of them. On the other side, it is shown that military officers get many eggs in the underground nest. Those were laid by the female creature. And their defeat made a heavy burden for Godzilla. Military officers come out after setting the time bomb. Soon the bomb explodes and all the eggs are spoiled as a result of that. Noticing it, male and female creatures start worrying about their eggs. And both run there, leaving Godzilla. That explosion benefited Godzilla because the radiation of that explosion began to transfer into him as energy. Using it, he discharged that energy from its mouth on both creatures. Now Godzilla had become stronger and he was using all of his might to combat both beasts. Here Godzilla kills a male creature. Seeing it, the female creature comes into a fit of rage. The military had spoiled its eggs, so it was also the cause of its fury. Then it moves forward to Ford, and Godzilla captures it from the backside. Opening its mouth, Godzilla puts all radiation into that creature from it. As a result, it dies after suffering much pain. Ford was also badly injured, but military officers took him to provide medical assistance. The next day, Godzilla comes on the scene. People were thinking that it was dead. Being tired, Godzilla was laid down while closing its eyes. It starts to move as it wakes up and heads toward the depths of the sea. In fact, it had not come here to harm anyone. He has a grudge only for those menacing creatures. Now it returns to sea after killing them. It is shown that Ford had also gone back to his wife and son. Everything is turned equitable, and the movie also completes with it.